In today's video, we're gonna talk about how to invest $1,500 one time to make $245,000 in the life insurance business every year for the rest of your life. If you enjoy these videos, please go ahead, like, and subscribe to this video and turn on notifications for the Life Insurance Academy on YouTube uh, so that you can be notified when we release new content just like today's video. So, how do you invest $1,500 one time to make $237,000 for the rest of your life in the life insurance business. Well, this goes back to when I first got started in the life insurance industry. I did the math, I was coming out of a, um, another business, I was a partner in another company, and I did the calculations on how much money we needed uh, to provide the lifestyle and income that I wanted for my family, what I wanted and what I needed. I did the math, and uh, I knew I wanted to make north of $200,000 a year in this industry. And after watching someone just for a few days, I realized it was very doable in this business. Now, if you're watching this video for the first time or you're uh, jumping into the industry and you're brand new, that number may seem large. But hopefully after today's video, I'm gonna give you some math and I'm gonna break down some numbers that this is gonna make sense to you. And maybe for the first time, you could see a possibility to make north of $200,000 yourself in this incredible industry. So I did the math, I broke it down, and I, I, I looked at what my investment needed to be to get a return out. What I've realized in life and in business, to get a return of anything, you have to invest that thing. And so what I wanted from this industry is I wanted more time and I wanted more money. I wanted more money and I wanted more time. I wanted to create financial independence or financial freedom for me and my family. I wanted to be able to dictate when I went to work, when I was able to take time off. So those are the things I wanted. Now, as a, as a result of those things that I wanted, I realized that I would have to invest time and or money into the business also to get that back out. Now, when you first start, you either have money or you have time. Some people have both. Uh, but I hope that in this video, you're gonna see that it doesn't take a big investment of money to return to you an opportunity where you can leverage your time and make a massive difference in the amount of people that you can see on a weekly basis. So if you're like me, and when I got started, I got started in the leads business and where uh, I was looking to acquire leads or purchase leads so that I didn't have to uh, go and call on all my own family and friends. And as a result, I was in the simplified issue space uh, looking for a lead source, uh, mortgage protection, final expense are two good primary areas that we continue to do business in today that are both leads driven. And you can outsource leads from a variety of vendors. Uh, there's direct mail leads, there's uh, direct call transfers, there's digital leads, there's Google leads from AdWords, there's YouTube leads, there's Facebook leads, there's all kinds of leads that you can acquire. Why would you wanna do that? Well, the reason that I wanted leads was because I didn't wanna have to take all of my time investing and creating relationships to maybe sell a policy once I go through the warm market. I wanted people who were already interested in our product and service. So I wanna clarify this. A lead is simply an opportunity to have a conversation with someone who's expressed an interest in your product or service. That's what it is. So I went looking for lead sources. I did the math, I broke down the numbers. So I'm gonna show you some math today on how I did it for me, and hopefully this can also help you. Once I determined how much money I wanted to make, and that was north of 200,000, I realized it was gonna take an upfront investment in leads. And so this was the math that I broke down that I wanna share with you today. So if you invest $1,500 one time, $1,500 one time. Now some of you might say, well, I don't have 1,500. But I wanna tell you, in this industry, this is probably the lowest uh, barrier to entry in any business in the United States of America. For you to be able to get started for less than $2,000 in any business is unheard of. So how would you creatively come up with that first $1,500? Well, here's what I did. I opened a new credit card. It was for my business and I was gonna process all of my lead purchases and all of my marketing through this card. I was gonna use it for points. I was gonna pay it off every month so I wouldn't have a debt, but I was gonna leverage the credit that I could put on there to uh, upfront start this business and always run everything through that card. That's what I did. Well, if you put a $1,500 investment into a, um, into a lead program, and let's say um, that was uh, today, in today's market, that should get you somewhere uh, about 40 to 60 leads, 40 to 60 qualified leads. 
Now, uh, with an investment like this, and it should get you a good majority of brand new leads that are untouched, but you can have a mix. You can have a mix of uh, really high quality, uh, high intent leads to a lower intent lead and do a, a combination of those, but it should get you somewhere between 40 and 60 leads. Now, I knew that even at my worst day, if I was diligent in contacting all 40 to 60 of those, that I should be able to set up 50%. I should have a 50% set ratio. That should be your goal as a minimum. That's the baseline, 50%. So if I got a 50% set ratio of leads to appointments, that should put me somewhere about 20 to 30 appointments. Now, appointments, that might be face-to-face. -face, it might be over the phone. It might be telesales or Zoom. Okay, multiple ways that we can do that today. But it should get me 20 to 30 qualified appointments of people who agreed, yes, I want more information, and yes, this time works for me. So you gotta block out call days, obviously. You gotta be very diligent in working through this and working through these numbers. You can't let any go unturned, but you need to stay committed to the process so you can get 20 to 30 leads. Now, at a 20 to 30, I knew again, at my worst day, because of the law of large numbers and because of the intent of the leads of the people who wanted to buy it, if I knew about my products and services and I spoke with a level of confidence in what I was doing to help them and I looked to truly meet their need, that I would close, again, about 50% close ratio on the appointment. So that would be somewhere between about 10 to 15 applications that I would set up uh, for people for life insurance, 10 to 15 applications. That was a key number for me. I wanted to have at least 10 qualified applications going in each week on a submit basis to hit my number of north of $200,000. Now, let's start here with this premise. And you might, you might have been coming out of a captive industry. You might be coming from a shop where leads were provided for you. But in the independent side, which is where I started, uh, if you're running appointments and you're writing at least 10 to 15 applications a week in this industry, in the simplified issue, final expense, or mortgage protection space, you can expect uh, a, a contract of at least somewhere around 100%. So I'm going to set everybody up with an approximate 100% contract. Some of your products uh, may be a little higher than this, some may be a little lower, but let's just use this as a nice round number in our industry today uh, where we can do some math on this so that you can understand how this works. So, now, if I'm writing 10 to 15 applications, what is the average premium per application? In life insurance sales, we get paid our contract times the annualized premium. Well, I'm gonna lower that probably a little lower than you might expect. Some people might think I put in 1,000 or 1,500 there for the annual premium. I'm gonna lower it all the way down to about $800 in annualized premium per application. Okay, $800 in annualized premium per application. Now, if I have 10 of these applications times 800, I now have $8,000 in annualized premium. $8,000 in annualized premium. That's my number. But, um, and that's a good number if you're writing that each week. But that's only if you commit to this process. Some people try to do it on less and the numbers start working against you. I didn't want to work the numbers against me. I wanted to work the numbers for me. The law of large numbers is a law for a reason because it's based on large numbers. So don't try to minimize your ability to convert to, to get to the result that you're looking for by reducing the number of opportunities, maximize the number of opportunities. So on an $8,000 annualized premium, here's how this is gonna work. I'm gonna give myself grace and I'm gonna tell myself that only 80% of that business is going to stick, 80%. 80% of that is going to stick. It's going to, uh, some people are going to change their mind. Someone's going to fall off before the end of the year. So I've got to deal with that attrition on that piece of business. So if 80% of that sticks, now I have $6,400 in annualized premium that I'm getting paid on each week on this contract of 100%. 100% is also going to mean that my commission is $6,400. Now that's broken down into two ways. I'm going to get an advance of approximately $4,800 up front, which is nine months of commission. And then uh, uh, after that, I'm going to have an as-earned balance coming in in months 10, 11, and 12 of $1,600, okay, $1,600. Might have gone out of frame there. <laughs> we'll catch it. Uh, Adam's going to catch that for you. Forty-eight hundred dollars and sixteen hundred. This is the upfront commissions earned, and this is the as-earned balance that's coming in in months ten, eleven, and twelve. 
So here's what happens. I earned 6,400 in commissions after my attrition of 20%, 80% remaining. I get an advance of 4,800. I now have $1,600 coming in as earned business. Here's where the magic happens. What was your initial investment? Your initial investment was $1,500. And if your initial investment is $1,500, here's what I want you to tell yourself. In order to get time and money out of something, you gotta put time and money in. Have I put money in? Yes. Am I committed to putting the time in? Yes, to work the leads, to get to the opportunities, to sit with the people. Have I given myself a reasonable close ratio, 50% and 50%? It's really a close ratio of about 25% on the total number of leads. The numbers work out at $800 in annual premium per app. That gives me this number here. Out of the 4,800, this is my cash flow number, guys. This is my cash flow number. Cash flow means the number uh, that I have to operate on. Now that's my business's money. That's not my money yet. It's my company's money. I'm in business for myself as a 1099 life insurance agent. Out of the 4,800, what's the very first thing that I need to cover out of that in order to keep my business going? Here's the magic, and here's where this happens. Out of the $6,400, that are out of the, uh, I'm sorry, out of the $4,800 that you have coming in each week, Here's where the magic happens. Out of this 4,800 that's coming in each week, the very first thing that needs to come back out of that is the 1,500 that you put in on the front end, and it needs to go back into the cycle and start the cycle over again. 1,500 comes out, that leaves you a remaining of $3,300 in cash flow positive after your lead investment. You withdraw your lead investment and you put it back in the system and let the numbers work through again. The remaining amount is 1,600. That's coming out back to you in the back end. If you add these numbers up, you've made, uh, what is that number? Uh, we got 1,600 and, uh, let, let, let's do some math here. We got 40, $4,900 a week in annual earnings that you have for the year. And if you take that number and you multiply by, I'm gonna take that number, I'm gonna do 4,900 times 50 weeks. I'm going to give myself two weeks off. Guys, that number, I don't know if you can see that right here, is $245,000. $245,000. Now, you might decide to take an extra week off, but you'll still end up with about $235,000 to $240,000 in annual income when you run this program and you work the numbers. The key is this. Most people think that they're spending $1,500 a week on marketing. What you're doing is you're only spending $1,500, investing $1,500 one time, one time into your business. You're putting it in the system, you're working the system, investing your time and your money. When the money comes out on the other side, the very first money that you remove from that is the $1,500, you put it back in the pipe and you repeat. You put it back in the pipe and you repeat. You put it back in the pipe and you repeat. This is not a new $1,500 that you're uh, spending every week. You're just taking the money out of the cash flow, putting it back into the funnel. Invest $1,500 one time into your business. Work the system. Put in your time. Put in your money. You're, you're on a trajectory to make $235,000 to $245,000 a year in life insurance for the rest of your life. Now, that's the numbers. However much higher you want to go above that is just the law of numbers. Increase the number of leads increase your revenue. Decide how much can I work, how much do I wanna work, how little do I wanna work. But if you work those numbers, that's a way you can set a dial, almost put a clock on it so that it's guaranteed income for you to go make that 245. That's what I did, that's what you can do. So, if you like this video today, hit like and subscribe and turn on notifications and please leave a comment. How much money do you wanna make? How much money do you wanna make in your business? And if you need some help with the math and how to do the consult, you can reach out to us, leave us a comment, leave us a question. We'd be happy to engage with you and help you figure that out for you. But guys, we're in one of the best businesses in the world. It's created more millionaires than any other industry, and you are in it. You get your hands on it. Now you go make yourself $240,000. You can do it. We'll see you in the next video.